Hey guys, how's it going? May 14th, 2022. And just going to help unplug the bowl here. Looks like some rain in the distance or something. Okay. So yeah, Red was doing a good job getting a lot of this cleared out so that trains can come in last night. And, uh,. This happens sometimes. It just gets a little plugged up. Um, but now we're in a now we're in a situation where we should be able to get these locals uh, figured out. I'm going to um, I'm going to separate the power here for a second, just because I use the. Uh, I, I tend to use the sheets. He's not going to be around for the next few days, so I'm going to probably be doing more of this. Well, there's always others, too, that uh, like doing this stuff. Um, there we go. Just want to pull ahead for a minute. I was worried, uh, oh, I still do. Shit. I don't want to go through that. Looks like it's in an issue here. Sounds like there's a PC, looks like there's a PCS failure of some sort. Because I'm not getting power. Yeah, let's see. Yep. All right. Put it to neutral. And while well, that resets itself, I'm actually doing it without cheating. I'm so proud of myself. Actually, I got a hand from people online, actually another server host that uh, told me how to do it. Because he had all these different simple rules and I said, well, I don't know this one. I, I said, I used to. But I couldn't remember it. I knew it had something to do with the emergency break and waiting for so long. You gotta be really patient. It used to tell you. It doesn't tell you anymore. So you gotta stick it in neutral, throw the emergency break on for 60 seconds. Eventually that thing will flash. I knew that flashing part, but I how, how to initiate the process. I knew something about the emergency break, but you have to have it in neutral gear. So that's a PCS failure. That's when you know something happened with the air. Blah blah blah. Almost want to see that video. What is that? Ah, that's okay. There we go. Just like that, we're all good. that and open that and we're ready to go okay so there I can sit there for a minute Daytime is the worst time to get to read stats. I keep telling you about this AI. I gotta get this AI going. I just got so much stuff. Now I gotta get rules because, you know, it, it's only fair for new people. I go with common sense rules, but then, you know, there's always a situation that doesn't apply or, or something. All right. So, in order to get the proper calculations or trying to decide what I want to do with these supply trains. One, I always use the sheet right now. Uh, often. It doesn't have to keep up to date, it, it, and it, chances are it's not. Uh, by the way, um, 
Frank, I think it is. Yeah, he was asking me about trains, where they originate or whatever. This is where you get it from. You get it from the sheets. And they're in... The sheets are available on the Discord in one of the pin topics or whatever. It's out there. I try to keep this all available, but that will tell you what the trains are doing and where they're coming from and stuff like that. And this is the routings and we're adding more eventually. But there's so much to do right now, I haven't really did it. Two supply trains are Q455 and Q457. So, in order to get that all figured out, we need to go into here. Now, I don't know if this is updated recently. Let me just see here. Well, that was. Okay. Okay, so that's an F11. So 799 is over there. I take it San is there. Well, let's get it all in here and see where we're at. ones we got seven where is it end is that end right there okay there it is right there okay cool so we'll start with the simple stuff triple seven only has seven cars hmm. Or 772, sorry. I can't even read it properly. Oh, I heard thunder! I heard thunder! That was cool. Okay, seven seven two and seven seven six seven seven two and seven six eight are the locals we just ran the other day. I assume it's over that way. That was cool. There we go. You find a little background and then you just go from there. Seven eight so fourteen eighty five ten sixty um I had some capacities I was working but yeah I gotta get those rock trains out of there. Yeah, it looks like it's coming from that way. But I don't know. Okay, who are you and why are you over here? Looks like it's on a different track. Did I do 768? I thought I just did it. Uh, 7... I'm confused. Yeah, that's the one I just did. Okay, never mind. Shut up. Keep going. Oh, I see. It looked like it was on the same track. It's not. Uh, blah. Seven fifty-three. So I like to list everything just so I know how I want to group things before I start moving them around. I, I do this with every train that I sp before I start pulling them because I want to know, and I mean, however it works for you guys, that's that's fine by me. I I don't want this is where I don't want to get into rules so much. Whatever, there's no wrong way. And things are going to start changing once AEI comes in, and then you know, there might be something else that we add and. You name it. 
Just have fun. I mean, yes, I like to be prototypical and all that other crap, but... And I do, trust me. But I also don't want to spend my... Why 124? Yeah. Next one. 787. And it's kind of in order here, too, so it makes it easy to go through these if, you, if you're doing a certain section. Um, that's why I wanted to do that one next. He might have already pulled the, or got that information. I'm not sure. He's got one of them that's written down. Maybe the one he's pulling. 767, that's probably it. Oh, he's got 766. 6416 three, 3694. Okay, so 766 should be right beside it. There it is. No, that's why 124. No, 766 should be this one. Which it is. Which has got an old one. Oh, okay, that's an old one. Oh, I see. He did seven. It was in the wrong column. That's okay. We'll fix that. 716, 359, 780's not used, 7, uh, nothing on track, 39, Taft, I got nothing on track, 39, have I ever moved these? I must have, because I just didn't think I had that many openings. Well, good. We got room. I guess. I'm surprised. Something surprises me here. I didn't think I had that much room. Let me just ch check this out for a minute. Now, something's up with that. Have I updated it? New Orleans. See, I got 772 over here on 5150. Move to 5150. Okay, 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 okay. Gotcha. I, I see what's going on here. But this is going to screw things up. Uh, this is why. I see, I see why I didn't move it. Oh, I'm going to run into problems here. Well, I might as well do it. See, I got these little move areas here. This is going to screw up the formulas. But I'll fix them now. Surprise that doesn't go with it. It doesn't. Ooh, okay. F11. Insert comment. F11. Okay. Um. 
We don't know what the hell's going on with OSC-776. I guess that's why it's out. So I took that one out. Let's resolve this one. So this is going to 40. Oh, I see what's going on here. Okay. So everything that was from there on was basically changed, I changed orders, right? Which means I gotta, I gotta change all my formulas. I know this is not the kind of stuff that you guys like watching, but trust me, we'll get there. I have to do this now, or else I'm going to regret not doing it. <laughs> it's just going to stay like this, and it's a, it's kind of a mess. Uh... Oh, crap. Okay. Now, now I'm really starting to screw things up here. I just realized I really screwed up. Okay, just let's just leave it at that for now and not bother because it's going to be a mess. I'll, I'll do this eventually, not right now, because it affects everything down here. It affects the formulas. I just don't want to bother with that right now. Um, I know it's a pain, but... So let's just continue where I was doing. Never mind you. I get it now. I haven't done much from the north side, so... Y124, I think we just did. Yeah, I know it's too small. Screw off. Captain Obvious with a freaking thing. Your display is too small. Um... 787, okay, good. I think I did this already. I swear I just did this, but... 767... Seven sixty six. That might be it for the locals. Nope, seven eighty four. Three eight three seven. One seven three one. Taft is over somewhere else or something or other.
7.85 Okay, so 7.99 is somewhere else and I don't think there's any others, so well, there might be one other CRR 1419 1112 I think it's 7.99 was over somewhere else or something or other F11 was it Yep, yeah, that's the one Whoops Okay, so now what we do is we look up to the sky. What I do is I copy this information down below and decide what trains I want to put everything on and in what order. So essentially I'm building them. Or, or planning on building them. These two are locals. They don't. They don't apply. These are the only ones that do apply. Now, of course, they're going to be sorted into a different or moved onto a different column eventually. I'm not worried about it right now. Why is that frequency an? Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's our mileage here. I think it is. Um. Okay. So 457 generally has pecan. So we got 3,964 feet at the moment. And we also add more from Jacksonville for 457. We'll see this one here. 6,832. That's too much already. Well, I will Jesus. What the hell did I do? Um, so, actually, let's uh, try this one. 58223122. That's not bad. 787422. Only 7,500. Um... I'll take those ones out and I'll see how bad it is if I add this. I think it's going to be pretty bad. Yeah, it is. That's I don't like that. Um, so I'll add the 787 422. I could in theory try this. Do Jacksonville only. That's not no. We don't want to do it that way. We want to we want to put a pecan in there. Okay. So twenty eight seventy three seven sixteen three fifty nine for Sanford and Taft has. probably just copy these. I don't know why I'm... Ugh, that's ugly. I just might, uh... 
So we're dealing with about 19,000. Um, hey, King. So if I bring that down to here, we're at 10,000 now. And if I go here, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be it. That's it right there. That'd be the magic number. So 455 is going to have those blocks, and 457 the others. So we know that this Taft is over here. Um, now he's over at the tail end, so we've got to consider taking him back out. Depends what he's grabbed onto. I forget what he's grabbed onto. Uh, so he's in F11 right now. Uh, looking at what the yard looks like we're gonna need we're gonna need all of that see that's the problem with these uh, yards too is the um, 9689 yeah I'm gonna need I uh, god um, I only have to build one right now, which is going to be 455. Usually that's the first one we build, and then we'll build the other one. Uh, let me just double check and make sure he's not built onto that already. Let's see what we don't need. What else we got? 767. So 767, that is a pecan. Um, it's probably too big for the yard, I assume. Let me double check on that. Yeah, it looks like it is. Okay, so the pecan we will get out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and open up Waycross again. Actually, I don't want to, I don't want this one, or do I? Yeah, this is good enough. Local 10's got 3,230. I, I think it's too big. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna find a uh, I'm gonna find a track for that. Is that the self trim? Okay, good enough. Make sure that's closed. So I have to get that out of there because it's bogging down the yard. Now there are some tricks. Looks like we are okay. Yeah, we're on the second track, I think. So we want to keep this track open. The trim can actually use both of those tracks. So I'm going to take a look and see how much it can use, but. And we'll see from there, but.
Where's the storm coming from? That was behind me, but... I heard thunder, but I never saw the lightning. I don't want to. I don't want to shoot thunder today. I ain't gonna be out from there. Maybe it only happens at a certain time of day or something. I heard thunder earlier. Yeah, well. Back in a second, I gotta. Can I delete a train while it's uh, doing this? I'm not sure. Yeah, I guess I can. Perfect. So I'll make sure everything else is going okay. Be excessive on this server, that's for sure. I'm already at ten thousand. Uh, looking at ten thousand feet, and that's not fitting the departure tracks. Um, it's not going to fit the sidings. Like it's just a few minutes ago, I was playing around with uh, two trains that wouldn't pass each other over in Taft. That I, I had to delete one, so it gets into enough problems as, on its own. So now the, those type of trains are never going to be here. I'll tell you that right now. And I and I and you talk it. You mentioned a lot about log trains, but uh, you seem to be fascinated with long trains, which I gotta admit is kind of a warning sign, because <laughs> it, it stuff we don't do. We we run we run basically operations. So you see in these trains right now, I've got these these won't even fit the departure tracks. Now normally, yeah, you would double up a train and all that, but because people aren't here twenty four seven, you gotta simplify things a little bit. Ninety nine thirty one and ninety six eighty nine are pretty much the limit you're going to see here. Not in, in the real life, you would have trains that will go much, it will actually go further. The problem is auto, oh there's the lightning, uh, auto won't know what to do with it because it has a hard time handling as it is. I don't know what the coal trains come in at, but they, they come in fairly high too, but then there's sightings that are even shorter than that. It's not smart enough to um, do that. Like when I when I when I see about you know what you do with long trains and all that, I know you like running long trains. It doesn't impress me. 
<laughs> it's like, I don't care. It, it, it's just, it's no offense. And somebody even mentioned it the other day. It's like, okay. We got, you know, Quincy's a real engineer. And I'm sure he runs, he's run a long train or two, but. Quincy gets bored. These trains bore, Qu bore Quincy. <laughs> I'm just bugging him. PSR sucks. Yeah. <laughs> this is before PSR. This is this this is 2007. So. PSI wasn't around in 2007. Uh, were there long trains? Yeah, they could be. I don't know about 10,000 though. I don't think this train was even 10,000. Which baffles the hell out of me because considering the amount of industries, I, I find these trains are too long as it is. Okay, I'm going to have to find a uh, track. So yeah, you look at these capacities here. Um... So I got departure tracks. I don't even have a departure track for the two trains that I'm building, or at least the one. I'll probably end up putting it on uh, the forwarding track. Did I actually throw the switch? I've been known to do that. Yeah, we're good. Da, da, da. The real ones, the real ones bore you stupid? Okay. Ah. <coughs> and I can see this sim, what it generates, um, like, uh, I know Frank was mentioning about the coal trains, Quincy. They were... I don't know what the coal trains are. The loaded coal trains are usually at. But they're about 100 cars right now. I got them at 1.2 HPT. Um, and the only reason why I did that was so that I'd have the same number of engines coming back because you put it to King of the Rails and... It gives you roughly the same number of engines going back. It's not a big deal, but I thought it would be neat to have the same number of engines coming back of a loaded coal train to an empty. Yeah, we gen we generate basically all on. I mean, we're at the mercy of the system, unfortunately, in some ways, but it gives us our boundaries, so we know we know what to we know we know what to expect. But there's a lot of times we don't know what to expect. Like I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know exactly what blocks which train was going to take. I knew Pecan was probably going to go on um, the 4, 457. Is it? I, get the, I get the two confused. 450. 450 um, yeah, I better think about that for a second. Do I got that right? Yeah, 457 is the second train, so... I knew I knew 457 usually will take the uh, the peak end. Ideally, it's only supposed to go to Jacksonville, but then this train, uh, the 455, becomes too big. Yeah, we're 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 basically operations based. We don't have the, uh, what do you call them, engines? I don't know what the hell those stupid engines are called. I see them in real life, and I'm just like, oh yeah, cool. 
they get boring after a while. After you see them one once in a while, they they become old. I don't even. I barely rail fan these days, to be honest. It's almost like I've you know I've seen everything that I need to see. <laughs> Not that I don't mind rail fanning. It's fun still. I just haven't done much this spring at all. Saw a train today. Uh, assembling a welling yard. Just there for something to do. Kind of drove by. Wasn't going to wait around for him. He was just building and yard crew was just about to get going and uh, you know once you see once you see it so many times it gets kind of boring. This is still fun for me though. There's a lot of uh, variation and familiarity. There's a lot of repeat stuff too. Man, this yard is getting friggin' packed. I think this is why I've been uh, starting to see my frame rates hit. It wasn't so much the server, although ever since I. Uh, did a quick reboot of the server. I hadn't even reboot my computer, but it seems okay now. I think Jason left his save train with the new coal hoppers and his fight just to get out of Moncrief. Really? I didn't see his save. I know we've had some trains that are a little more challenging than others. The AI was generating uh, five engines on the lead for the 1.2 HPT which I think we had five I think Emmett had five engines the one day and we were playing around with it and it, it can get a little dicey obviously if it was the uh, the other thing too is I don't know what the grade is um, I know there's uh, the, the Smoky Mountains on uh, Fitzgerald and I got to see those I never asked Jason what the grade is they gotta be, I would imagine they've gotta be 2%. Because there's some sections, there's some small sections here that are close to around 1%. And that's the thing with all these different, the the different trains too, is I really don't have control over what generates other than a few cars. I don't have any parameters uh, to generate it, which I wish I had it, but...
to uh, see that for a second. Okay, so the pecan is over on, where did I put him on? F14. doing 455 yeah I'm gonna grab that Yeah, I know what you mean. I, I don't know why it's off, but I'll take your word for it. I know you mentioned that before. It's still a good it's still a pretty good judgment, I find. This is what RTS has always been about, those operations. Uh, you know, we do this, this is a daily train. Obviously, we're not here 24 7, despite the server being here 24 7. So, we tend to do things about once a week, and get through everything about once a week or so. I gotta take, I, I honestly, I don't know what the cycle is. We don't really have a cycle set like we did in California. Um, see, the horns today aren't controlling the uh, the lightning, which is a little weird. It did, it did, uh, it that was like a bug that had to have been a bug then that just cropped up for some stupid reason because I have no control over those. Take a look at the power requirements. Six units, it's saying. Five for 457. Six units at 1.37. That's plenty. Nice 4 2 combination. 457, probably 3 2. I, w I don't like putting five units on front. So we'll do 4 2, 3 2. We're, gonna do, we're only going to do this one today. The rest can sit.
and just start hogging the hole. No. I got no control over the, uh, I'm not the god of thunder today. That's weird. What's too much on the head end? Six units? Or five units? Yeah. I've done four too. Seems to be fine. So which ratio are you talking about? I did four four two for the for four fifty five. I mean, the only other one is 3-3, three, three, and I mean, that's, I guess it's more balanced. The problem is, I believe the mid-train DPUs are a little further back. They're not right in the middle. Or they, you show you how it goes anyways. So I, I kind of, I kind of uh, keep it differentiated depending upon how much tonnage I have on the, on the one set versus the second. Because it's not right in the middle. So I've run four units, no problem. Whoops, I'm going too fast, speaking of power. I thought I had the uh, speed control on. I forgot to put the damn... Oh, I did have it on. Shit. I had the counter on, but that's okay. I'll go to the tower view. Still set for this. Yep. I've, I've set it up a few times like that with four two. So there's about two thirds of the train that has four four units. So it doesn't pull it apart. I know what you're, you're thinking. If it was halfway, yeah, I'd agree. Because that's like 5,000 feet and then poink. Now I'm going too slow. We'll see where I have to block it. If it's down the middle, I'd go 3-3, three, three, but usually it's not. Usually, I usually like to block it at um, a spot that's convenient for a set-off, which I've seen done. Uh, I've seen it done in Niagara, put it that way. They're dealing with bigger grades than this. Not too much bigger, but Niagara Escarpment's a pretty good climb. The height of Niagara Falls, basically, from one end of the peninsula to the other.
Yeah, I, I need I need all that. I need those six units minimum, at least in the power. I mean, yeah, I can go a little bit less if I really wanted to challenge it. I mean, we're looking at um, 1.37, which is a lot. I mean, there's a lot there. If I was to go down, it'd probably be about 1.1. be kind of a fun train but the bigger they are the the more I don't wanna take away too much H HPT This thing's already a freaking brick. Got 5,000 feet just in the 799. Maybe I should have left it there. Doubled up it. Or doubled. Yeah, oh well. What's the Florida, or the, uh, the Taft sections here? Might be regretting that. Sanford's got nothing. Jacksonville's got nothing. That's all Taft. Might actually do a 3 3. Okay, so here's your tonnage uh, 8, 7,000. Nineteen thousand three hundred fifteen tons. Not fun. These trains are these trains are too heavy. That's the problem. All these cars are fully loaded, which is bullshit. That's half. The, that's half the problem right there, or a big huge problem, because a lot of these trains could go, um, but being ten thousand feet, yeah, I mean. 2007? I'm not too sure about that. We probably run second for a second sections of 455. Four eighty five nine nine nine. I think I'll grab eighty five. No, I'm going to grab FCRR. That'll put me at... Uh, that'll put me about the halfway mark right there. I'll have three units. I'll grab FCR, group it with that. You can tell I'm hard, already having a hard time pulling that with the, uh, the four SDs, so... Okay. 
take that and stick it right back where I got it from. I'm gonna get an AI or gonna get a train out of here too. I want to get this one train out of here. AI that up if uh, there's no takers. Whoops. Hello. Way across is mostly flat. Uh, I would think the odd grade here and there, so I would think that's why trains are not too overpowered. It's these cars that are, um, they're either fully loaded or fully empty, which is just not the case in real life. And I, I speak from, from professional experience with, with just trucks. I mean, some commodities weigh more than others, especially with, with the boxcars. Lumber, okay, you're going to get close to capacity, but not necessarily because you can have um, center beams. I, I, I mean, I don't, exper I don't have experience with those particular loads. Um, I would say I'm more experienced with the 53-footers as far as trucks, not necessarily rail or containers and I can't think of some weights offhand but I guarantee you the containers oh my god the intermodal containers they they are so so over weighted because they go by their absolute capacities every every one of these loads that are in this yard is at absolute capacity which is just wrong I know somebody went in and did the random thing, which is, you know, it is what it is, but it just makes it worse because then there's no logic to why there are loads and empties. But you see those, like, they're, they're shades. So I knew somebody was playing around random because I could see orange. But because that's solid red and solid green, those are completely empty on the left, completely loaded on, on the red. And that just drives up the tonnage big time. Like the reefers. Okay, those are empty. Good. Okay. I was going to say they better be empty going that way. If I go back, and can I? Oh, I can. Okay. Let's do that. I want to do something different here. I haven't seen that. Really? So if I was to restart this, you're saying everything would be... Um, like, I, res I restarted the sim. I did that last night and nothing changed. Yeah, nothing is nothing's changed in this yard. 
this is this is completely there there was I, I don't know what would cause that in the bowl so I can uh, get around here which I'll have in a few minutes here oh shit I still have to get through that way damn it this ladder sucks <laughs> Oh man, I should have been on the other track. This ain't gonna do me any good. I really don't want to go all the way back there because then I gotta pull it again. Oh. And I want to have the head in on the front side, not the tail end. Um, okay. Let me change that. Well, it's 444 already. Yeah, I had to do a back and forth move because I had to change my mind. Uh, let's see, what we got in here? Well, tell you what. I can bring it back down. I can bring it back down 11. I think we got enough. 94.75, yep. Vulcan's another one that uh, should be getting in the unit train. We have one rock train. We figured Conrad uh, Yelvingston was got one, but I'm wondering if Vulcan uh, has a unit train. I'd have to check the uh, the A line map. There's at least two two rock trains that I know of. There's more, but there's two specific that head down the uh, the A line. 
we isolated two of them. We know which one uh, to build to get the uh, the unit trains. Yeah, it's really pushing my frames. I can't I can't maintain 30. I don't think it's hurting the server though. I think it's just the client end. There's just too too much going on here for me anyways. Yep. Not hurting the performance any. Like everything's. What concerned me the other day was I was in here. It was not as busy. And all of a sudden I would have a, a spike down. And I was just like, the server's gonna go. Because um, I forget who was on with I think Red was on with me, and he was noticing the same thing. But he was he was here too, so. Could have been coincidence, who knows. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. The performance for three? Well, what do you mean? Oh, okay, before the patch uh, for version three? In version two, I couldn't do this. There's no freaking way I could do any of this in version two. Not on my system. Yeah, I think it's better that I put this in the yard here anyways, because I'm going to double up that train. Um... Okay, no, actually, I changed my mind. I'm going down here.
Ja. There's also a local. I mean, the frame hit right now. I if I'm in other locations, I don't get this frame hit. So I'm getting a. Um, I'm getting the graphical. So if I was to, I'll show you. If I was to go over to, uh, say, Bolin. See what I mean? Now I'm, now I'm at 30. And then, you know, I can hit the window button. I get a bit of a... I had a bit of a drop there for a second. This is my test. If I start dropping like that, then I know... I know then that's... Oops. Be there. See, this isn't so bad right now. Uh, which way do I go? I go this way, I think. So far, so good. Now I'm starting to now I'm starting to feel it. So I'm coming closer to the bowl. There it is. <laughs> so from a server issue, it's not a problem. Although I gotta watch myself. I don't know. I wish I could read my metrics. Well, in this full screen, but, you know, just pop up a window or whatever, that'd be kind of nice. But I have to get to the desktop to read that, or at least the ones that I'm thinking of, the metrics that I use. Not a big deal, though. I usually can, I usually can tell, like, see, I'm looked over this way, right now I'm at 30. If I go back over here, even if I zoom out, if I zoom out, I get all of it, right? If I zoom into a certain area, it's not too bad. <laughs> Frame rate's like 15. That sounds like me in version 2. Then I got a better video card. I had to switch up to Windows 10, uh, get a better hard drive, and all this other crap. Hey, I've been there. I've been. I've been there. I've been around there, anyways. 15's not fun. <laughs> hey, as long as you're happy with it, that's all that matters. People, when I when I when I tell them 30, they're like, "Whoa, oh, you're 30 for April. I'm like, "Yeah, don't bother me." Like I'm looking at this, this doesn't bother me at all. I mean, I it might be streaming a little bit differently, but this is smooth as uh, pretty much smooth as butter right now at 30. I'll start noticing it when it starts hitting the 25 and stuff like that. There I didn't really notice it though, like even out of the corner of my eye. 27, it's not really not really doing much. If I start going like crazy then I can... Well, so far it's still fine anyways. But 15, yeah, that's a little low. But as long as you're happy, that's all that matters. When it rains, I just give up. Well, why don't you go to... Can't you simplify? I got... I got... I'm totally... Like, got the highest settings for rain. I wasn't sure if I could do it, but I can. When I have rain, I don't have a problem. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> hey! We all have choices. I get it. That's like, um, I, I used to belong to a model railroad club and I was, I was saying, this is, this is, this is my hobby now. I love model railroad. I love seeing the super detail and the things like right in front of you. I really do. But they rapido rapido trains just introduced a new um, flat flat car pack, which is another one of the things I, I used to belong to the Water Re Regional Model Railroad Club, and I was I still subscribe to their newsletter and whatever, and I haven't been up because of the COVID restrictions or whatever because 
everybody's vaccinated and they don't want uh, second class citizens like me up there so but uh, I uh, I got up there or sorry I, I, I went through their 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 threads and they were talking about these new cars and I thought eh, let me take a look at these new cars I'm thinking I'm thinking of myself for one friggin car it cost 60 bucks in Canadian money. Now keep in mind it's Canadian. The U.S. is probably a little cheaper. You got to do what, one point three percent. But even ours is a little bit more expensive. But I mean, Rapido's a Canadian company, anyways, so they're getting all their shit from China. Um, so one point three HPT or HPT. I'm sorry, I got HPT on the mind. Uh, one point three exchange rate. So you multiply. Uh, U.S. money by 1.3. I don't know how it works the other way, but anyways, um, that's how. So if we got like something that's uh, something that's uh, ten to ten dollars is um, you know thirteen thirteen dollars in uh, Canadian right now. And uh, I couldn't believe that, though. It, just going with the exchange figures. Because $50 gets me, you know, into... Actually, no, it's probably $50 US, now that I think about it here. It is $50 US. I just paid the uh, exchange. But um, it's like, whoa. 60 It was like, you know, around $60 for the flat car, and then... no. Yeah, about sixty dollars for the flat car, about forty dollars for the friggin' trailers that go on it. And these are like nineteen seventies based stuff, and I'm like, it, it's gonna cost you to have a train if you if you put in all that just to have a train. You're 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 ta you're literally talking about a, a two a two like for HO. You're usually you're basically talking about a twenty car train, not counting the power. You're talking about two thousand dollar consist. I'm like, no. I mean, I'm just glad I'm out of that hobby. <laughs> I never really. I was always cheap when it came with, but I I don't have that kind of money to throw around. I don't mind uh, putting down fifty bucks for you know a pack now and then or whatever the hell. Like I've bought other games too, but um, quite a bit actually. I probably put in a good maybe thousand dollars on Steam. I would imagine. I think so. Well, maybe not that much. Probably yeah, about five hundred, six hundred dollars, maybe. But that's over time. Sixteen fifty super. What's the longest train on run eight? I don't know. Whatever you want it to be. <laughs> whatever can pull. We don't. We don't do longest trains. I. I have no freaking clue. Oops! I'm going too far. Five o'clock.
Okay, 799 and I guess I gotta put 799 as 11 right now. Or no, they're not on 11 anymore. just gave it but that's okay um, okay so that ain't it you idiot never mind that delete that yes delete that comment um, Seven ninety nine and what? FCRR, okay, gotcha. Okay, 795, 784, and then the other other ones, which I don't know if I'm going to get to right now, but I'll try. The other guys aren't at 11 anymore, are they? No, 14. Okay. nothing on a shelf. Donated whatever crap I had. I never paid. I was always a stickler. It's probably why I was never really into <laughs> model railroading as, as deep as I wanted to be. Um, okay. So what do we got? 785, 784. Gotta think about the leads coming up. I don't want to do those two yet. I gotta do 784, 785, so maybe that was it. Yep. Okay. Seven eighty four. Sorry, just trying to uh, see if I was the God of Thunder again yet. That must have been just a, a weird glitch that day. some lightning. No, see, I'm not controlling it.
Our trains, our trains don't stall because we plan them. I mean, they're not always planned well. But we don't, we don't try, we, we basically operate as a railroad. Um, like a railroad wouldn't run a train just for it to stall. Now shit can go wrong, like equipment issues like it does simulate in this. Which is why um, I was having the conversation uh, with Quincy there. So I'm going 3-3. Three, three. And the reason why I'm going 3-3 is it's going to be more halfway. Um, but as I said before, this tonnage is yeah, way too much. But it is what it is. Dale keeps asking me if I'm going to create RTS again. I'm like, no. <laughs> not like that I mean there's ways I could create it but it's just for the amount we run and the, the amount of AI traffic there is it's, it's, it's too much there's some battles you just have to give up So everything we have on that sheet is guiding us as far as how to build this train. Or at least giving us parameters. Know what, know what we're up against. Why the hell? I thought I had my speed control on. Guess not. There. And all the trains that run out of uh, run eight too, uh, you you don't have trains that are. Well, I mean, it's not that some trains aren't too long because for auto, they are some trains that are actually too long, or at least because auto doesn't know how to handle it. We get issues in Florida quite a bit, uh, or around Taft, I should say. Um, uh, let's see here. Everything's going okay at the moment, but over here I had two trains facing off each against each other because they were screwed up. Blake, did you ever get your train out? I know you were waiting for traffic. You, there is a um, one thing you guys can do on the server is, and I mean doing this very sparingly, is. If you want, if you need to delete a train because they're stuck, go ahead and do it. Not because you're stuck. Ooh, double, double barrel. What happened was a siding not too far from you. There was two trains that were stuck looking at each other. I came in, I deleted one of them, and that seemed to get the the backlog going. Yeah, you're okay now. Yeah, you were at Sol Soli. It was a mess. <laughs> it had nothing to do with you. I see you got out though, so you, you, you do have your block there, so that's cool. So I answered my own question. Ok, 
Come on, baby. <laughs> Oops. That helps. I don't know why there's air in these damn things going over a hump, but... Yeah, you, you were waiting for, I think, I think when I left you, you were wait, you were going to wait for four trains. But it would have been much worse because there was trains backed up waiting to get into Solit and they were staring at each other. But it had nothing to do with you, as far as I can tell anyways, even if it did. So what? It's not your fault. Yeah, that might have that might have created a backlog. It happens. It's not a big deal. I've I've put in the idea that auto should basically give a time limit to how long you can occupy a main, just like they do in the prototype. No, it 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 it, it um, Solit was. And that's a that's a an error on the dispatching. They, they, those things shouldn't be happening, but they do. It's not perfect. It needs uh, some work still. So okay, so I got seven eighty four, seven eighty four, seven eighty five. Okay, now I gotta get. Uh, 766 then why 124 766 this little pip squeak here Yeah, sometimes they get in trouble. Sometimes you just gotta let them by. I usually will watch the screen if 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 they start if you start holding up trains, I let them by. Prototypically, you would have to do it anyways. You, you're not supposed to hold up mainline trains. And all these things I'm considering for the different rules. <laughs> It's not a biggie. If it's not a rule right now, I don't give a rat's ass. But yeah, if there's mainline trains coming down, you gotta get out of the way. I know that doesn't give you much time, but... You can delay them a little bit. I've delayed them a little bit, but... The lines I've been on, they I haven't had to worry about them too much. Yeah, because when they start stacking, that's when they get into trouble. But sometimes they do that on their own anyway, so... Yeah. No biggie. I'll, 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 whenever I get these rules together, wherever the hell that is, I will, I will do that. I think some of them are just going to be like, I mean, there's no like hard rule for that. It's just, um, it's like, for example, like deleting a train. I don't want people just deleting trains because they want to get, they're impatient and they want to leave either. <laughs> um, I've seen that actually. People have done that on this server. They're not here anymore or he's not here anymore or whatever. But uh, that wasn't because of one incident, so. 
this is why we are very careful about who we who we bring on. So we want people to have the right fit who like running trains this particular way. Okay, where are you going? I think I set you up. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, no biggie. I'll get around to the rules eventually. One of these days. I might be having to do a little bit of extra work in uh, Waycross, so I don't know how much time I'm going to have doing other things. Not to mention all the trains we were going through, Emmett and I, we kind of stopped doing that. But we haven't added any, and that's what sucks. Ooh. Okay, so we got 766, and uh, okay, 766 Y124, and then that'll be that. Uh, that'll be that. There he is. Okay, that's our head end. Hey. At least there's a gondola in front. Kind of an oddball train, but whatever. No, I went down here for a reason. There we go.
iPad? Hell no. This is a PC simulator. My rail driver is bigger than the iPad. <laughs> you ever seen a rail driver? Look it up. That's this thing that's making the noises here. So, if I was the honk the horn, you can barely hear it, but that's my hand on, on the rail driver controlling it. Uh, what are some other things I can do? I can flip the screen like crazy. That's uh, the horn going the other way. There, I gotta drive. It's not quite a. It's not quite a uh, simulated. Uh, but those notches that I'm throwing in, like notch two or whatever, I'm controlling that. I can control the brake chamber. See, that's me just bailing on it. If I got the independence going up a little bit, the brake chamber starts filling. Pull it back. Bail it out. Coupler is great. That has nothing to do with it. If I want to use the counter I, in the corner there, it shows my feet. The distance counter. Uh, there's nothing really. The auto brake, I don't even have it engaged right now. Dynamic brakes. Okay, I'm on. Too fast. That's okay. I got a whole string of cars. Yep.
Hey, Scott. Shit. Screw that up. Ah, come on. I think it said I derailed, but I didn't get the message. Oh. Lucky me. No, reverse. Okay, how often do these things derail in uh, real life, uh, Scott? I'll ask Quincy too. Because I think it does it way too much in this. I mean, okay. I have 4,200 feet. Uh, 8,898 tons. I mean, my tonnage is okay. I did this I did this once yesterday too trimming the yard I even backed up I doubled up my trim because I was gonna trim the whole damn thing and I thought nah it's like 19,000 feet is a little bit too much for those four units if I need six units just to be happy with the train all right So this will be the head end of uh, 455. Damn, I gotta have some supper. See if I got everything else set up. I don't want to screw this up again. Right. Yeah, it's a good view there. What do you think, Scott? How many t how many times did you derail in a yard uh, in your life? Had a had a car uh, drop off the tracks. What about you, Quincy?
or the failures, the number of failures, that's another one. You don't get them that often, but I've heard them like rail fanning, so. Derailments, like even cars hopping a track, I might hear like around here, maybe once a year. It takes uh, a little bit of effort to get them back on the track too. I'll just pop a thing up and go boom. <laughs> Point one. All right. Have a one a day. <laughs> You're talking over a course of uh, what your career, or I mean, we're talking CSX here, so you never know. But oh, yeah. I've seen that. I mean, they got the little weevil wobbles, but not too bad. So two, two or three. Uh, some days, two or three. Wow. Okay. Well, maybe they're pretty close then. I think they need to scale it back just a bit. But I don't know what the parameter is. Like 10 miles an hour on. I mean, these are limited for 10 mile an hour switches, so I'm going. So I got the speed control set at 10 miles an hour. Finding kicking is a lot easier in uh, this version. from the other side, but actually let me pull it back a bit. Thank you. 
All right. Uh, which one did I want to take? I want to take that one. I think it was this one. That's okay. I always leave it in gear when I before I relinquish. <laughs> All right, there's that one. Yeah, it's good enough for me. Where's the uh, crossovers? It's not too far away. Yeah, I don't want to go that far. Okay. Love to run a hump, but I got the damn thing too uh, clogged up. Okay. Felt good. <laughs> All right, I'm back. I'm gonna start my supper.
the rail guys are going on the talking about uh, worst time. Yeah, I saw the truck hunting part, but I didn't see the rest. <laughs> Noodle rails. Ha! <laughs> Poor toilet! Ha 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 ha! At least you had a toilet. Yeah, really. <laughs> Speaking of taking a leak. It's my guy at the end now? Ah. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do hit first. Ah. One of these days we'll have smarter AI. Then we had a dispatcher, just like, oh, okay. One, two, three, you better have six units. I thought he had seven again for a second. Um, okay. Da, da, da. Uh oh, I think I hear Emmett. He can do this for me. Oh, you didn't relinquish, you bugger. I guess he didn't fully stop. Do, do, uh, do we, um, in order to do that, you gotta do a, um, Blake, you have to do a, uh, you have to, oh, what do you call the signal? You gotta give it a restricting signal. Right mouse click on the signal, manual switch, and then you gotta just basically, uh, go yourself. You gotta be careful with manual switches, though. Yeah, yeah, the manual does it. Hopefully I didn't stop that too soon. I don't think I did. Oh, get past the switch, you bugger. There we go. So, well, he's uh, coming to a stop. Let's see what we got here. We have got okay. So this is my head end. So I want the tail trailers down here. So I'll send them down this way first.
Oops. Let's start back up again. Be right back. With my AI uh, engines uh, close down to the cars that I gotta get. The title of my video was to unplug the bowl, but sure, you got it, Blake. If I didn't get you, um, okay. Let me uh, uh, relinquish that when stopped. I want to take a look at the bowl because I got supper cooking, and well, that's the arrival. Oh yeah, I can do that. Do we have one set up? A768 came in last night, good. That was the local that we were running yesterday. Oh, uh, let's see. First of all, let's see if my hump units are hooked up to this. Good, they're not. Okay. I want to select my uh, poison here. Baldwin, Baldwin, no. Um, what is that? GSC Chicago. Oh, that's an interesting one. CVA. That's a shorty. Uh, I don't think I want to deal with a shorty. Baldwin, Baldwin. That would be kind of cool, but Savannah. Okay, I like that. Even the the one beside it's not too bad. Um, you know the one beside it's probably a good candidate because it's not. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm the one I'm gonna go for then. So I'm going for the second from the top. Yeah, yes, yeah, supper, I'm coming. Head to he set it down here, okay. That's fine.
attract you and uh you know I was gonna hump but honestly I just want to eat my supper at the moment so basically what I'm doing is I'm taking these two cuts getting the power ready for that blah 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 um, I think I'm going to end it for here for now we're gonna go out after supper anyways so Ooh, I heard thunder I keep hearing thunder over here um, yeah I was gonna hump it I was gonna hump a train on the north end but here let me let me stir that and let it cool down I'll see if I can get it set up anyways. I don't see why I can't. Ugh. I'll just be two minutes and then we'll get the hump going. need to uh, clear out the bowl a bit. Well, actually, I'm not clearing out the bowl. I'm clearing out receiving, but it all helps. Um, okay. Let me go grab those engines. Don't have any trains. Good. see myself on this map. Am I up T13 main? FO2? Q410, Q692. Should say hump. That's hump R. I don't see myself. I'm still getting confused by this friggin' yard. Okay, where am I? Okay. Here a train. N152 rolling through. Something's rolling through. Yeah. Not coming here though, so that's good. All right.
Come on, baby. Ah, crap. I gotta go past it. Come on. It has to lock after twenty unlock after twenty seconds. There we go. Let's take that thing off. Uh -oh. oh I didn't. Thought I would have thought I would have screwed that up. Yeah, we'll get one hump off while I have my supper. Oops, went too fast. comes that hump uh, unit that I was just bringing back up. Come on. There we go. There's the sweet stuff. Right there. Okay. Now I got time to bring the food over. Ooh. Or at least get it ready. into the train, which I shouldn't, but you never know. Ah, crap, where's my box? There it is. Kind of multitasking right now. Not only in the yard, but my supper. I knew my train was shorter, so I had some room to get up there anyways. Alright, that part's ready. Where's my, uh, Coming up to my cars, I better zoom in. Uh, yeah. I see him. Should I eat eye of this train? <laughs> I mean, I got it here, but I want a drink now. Damn yeah, my baby. Uh, you're a little further away than I thought you were. Bugger. Oh, fine. I'm just going to eat without a drink for a bit.
Anybody want to guess what I'm eating? If you know me, you know what I'm eating. We got no guesses? Come on. Oh yeah, it's delayed a bit. This is why I had to take manual control of it. So I don't uh, destroy this train. Check our switches. I already know it's going to the north side. The south side's the one that's jammed up right now, so. Oop, he screwed up. Speaking of screwing up, I didn't set my switch after uh, the other guy left. Okay. I think it's you. Should be. I think it's you. It better be you. Yeah, it's you. Okay. Once I finish my supper, then we'll uh, we'll build the rest of Q455, double it up, and then uh, might even AI it to Jacksonville. I don't know. Oh come on! Hello? Oh, I must be hitting caps again. Cap cap locks or instead of shift? Yep. Okay, I think you're good. So I don't know who we had on here earlier, but if you're missing the humping part, you're missing the fun. Or the cool shit, I think, personally. But I don't know who we have on here anymore. Uh, what do we got here? Nine viewers? Yeah. I don't know. Nobody's chatting with me, so. 241. Won't even guess what I'm eating. Um. Okay. I just hope they're all northern. I think they are. Because if they're not, then uh, this one's going to be screwed. It looked like it was. I saw Savannah's, Chicago's. And I left my drink there. Yeah! I 
mean, the good news is we are clearing out more receiving tracks. Bad news is we're filling up the hump more. I haven't done, I haven't tried to push it too much, but, or at least I got the local stuff out of there, so I guess that's a good trade-off. We just moved uh, 10,000 feet, so that ain't that bad. I'd say the trade-off's probably even. Except these are going to be going into tracks that already have some cars in them. But they should fit. But we're here to watch it and make sure. Once I get the AEI software going, I will know for sure. So, of course, for those who are new to Run 8, uh, if you're still here, I don't know if you are or not. There were some new guys before. This is, this is, you know, the, basically the, uh, the main uh, setup for the operation. I mean, this one doesn't do anything for the locals, but it, it does handle all the mainline trains, uh, manifest-wise. The one we were doing before, or at least bring it out of the bowl, were three supply trains that came in that were already humped um, late last night by Red. Him and I were both humping. There's some images. Uh, if you if you missed yesterday's YouTube, if if not, it's on my it's on my channel. We were both trimming. And He had one set of, set of uh, trim units, I had the other, and we just uh, went to town. Next one's six, so that's good. So the reason why we don't want anything on the south is because we've got, well, you can't see it, it's right behind this bar, but these those tracks need trimming. Once they get too long, you get you gotta start building something. Um, that's a I think that's Savannah. That should be number five. I didn't see any Savannah in there, but don't know why. But
<laughs> Looks like Blake wanted to leave and then... Multiplayer. Depends it depends on what you want to do. But if you're asking my opinion, multiplayer for sure. Hands down. I have a very not not a very small group, but um I would say about a dozen regular dozen people. And they, you know, like I said, I was saying earlier, last night that yellow engine, uh, the Chessy unit over there, I was operating that. The other one with the light, uh, red was operating. We were double barrel barreling trims. And it's not just because somebody else is online to actually see somebody else operate a train beside you other than the AIs, which are currently running all over the place right now. But, uh, including this hump. But, uh, to be able to do that, I don't run very many locals. I run, uh, I run the locals out of Waycross. I seem to specialize more in kind of yard mastering Waycross, getting, you know, ideas as far as how I want to build 455, 457, which is what we're going to be building in a few minutes or finish building. But um, this, uh, when I build 455 and 457 off of supply trains that I we generated yesterday, three of them that came in, and we only generate them manually. We don't let the uh, the AI spawn them in, so that it doesn't overwhelm uh, Waycross. Then uh, having that supply a bunch of other guys. We've got guys who enjoy running, uh, who specialize running switchers out of Jacksonville, uh, who specialize running switchers out of Taft, uh, and then there's all the other industries in between, or like Rands in between and Pecan. And then I run, I run a small little switcher out to uh, to Folkestone, and then another one that I just finished uh, running the other day, which is the uh, the Conrail units there up here. Now, he AI, I AI him back. Once I've done all my work, I AI him back. I don't bother running them both ways. I don't need to. I do my work. My son and I were it, did it over two nights. Uh, I was tied down one siding uh, away from all the CTC, and uh, boom. So, no, this is this is a multiplayer effort. What you what you see going on all all this that's going on in here uh, trains that have been humped uh, you know we had tracks that were overfilling today that I cleared out so no multiplayer by far you cannot accomplish the amount that gets done in a week here single player hello. I don't know how long I'm going to be on. I know we're going out for a walk or something, but my son's still upstairs. I'm still eating anyways, but... I don't know if there's anybody else on the north side that I might be able to hump second. Finishing my supper, taking a break. Yeah, he's not too bad. 
Yeah, I might tie up to uh, one more. Do you start as a conductor or you do whatever you want? If you're on somebody's server, you you I, I would I would learn single player first, for sure. I would learn how to operate the train single player, but you can certainly you know, there's communities that can help you, including ours. But uh, if you're talking about on multiplayer, it depends on what you want to do, really. You can be a conductor, you can be part of a two-man crew or multi-man crew if you, if you have enough people. I don't think we've had more than two people running a train. Barely have two man crews to be honest. That I know of, anyways. I've done it more in the past, but. But there, you can certainly run this single player. There's nothing to say you can do it one way or the other. You can do both. It doesn't really matter. There's a lot of people that do both. So, learning the game single player is, is some of the cool stuff. Heard about the checked rides. Not here. <laughs> we talked about it, but we're not doing that. Some other places do checked rides. We don't. At least I have no intentions of doing that. That one will be done shortly. Uh, which one was the other one? I guess it was this guy. How much? Well, Chicago's not so much the issue here. It's the other side. What are they dividing this by here? Okay, Savannah, HSC. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. No, we're we're here to help. I mean, Quincy Quincy will gladly help somebody. At least he said he would. But to babysit people and make sure they know what they're doing and all that other stuff, you we'll get an idea if you know what you're doing. We we hopefully you know what you're doing. And, you know, we'll get we'll figure that out. But no, I would I would definitely ride run some trains and there are certain trains to run for to, to try first or over others. Intermodal trains uh, tend to be a little bit more forgiving. Um, oh come on! I'm past that switch. Am I not? Or did it just time out?
Okay, I think that was the one that I wanted to be on, but I'm not sure now. Oh, hell yeah. This is the only one there. <laughs> if you if you do multiplayer you can basically do any position that the server allows it all depends upon the server. I would, I would, I would want to get it. Hey, how's it going? I would want to get it for yourself first, and want to get better on your own and learn to get. That's how I would do it, personally. That's just me. I, I, I there's no wrong way, but. I would want to get it so that I could do what I'm doing right now. Right now, what I'm doing, I'm not relying on anybody. There's no, there's another person on the server right now, but he, he's he's way over at um, Blake. He's over uh, on the Sanford sub right now. He has no impact on me whatsoever right now. So he's doing his thing. I'm doing my thing. So being able to do your thing, what I what I'm what I when I say multiplayer, and why it's much better overall it's not like another train simulator game because what he's doing is a result of the trains that are processed here and also what he's doing brings stuff back here that I'm able to process so it's a it's a it's a back and forth but right now like in this moment it has no impact so if you're in single player the only difference is you would be running trains you can just run trains for the sake of running trains you don't have to run an operation per se you can just run trains and enjoy running trains up and down or wherever you want to go oh boy that's not really good that's what happens when I talk that's what happens when I talk and talk and drive is not good um, You're going to be the next hump. <clears throat> I'm just going to get uh, this hump going and then uh, going to double up on 455 and we should be okay. Ah, maybe I won't. I'll just I'll just keep it set up. I'll let that go. We'll do Q455 and then we'll get going. Yeah. See the lightning. Yeah, I've heard right. I've heard thunder a few times too, but but I don't have the God of Thunder thing today. Huh? Despite the fact that there's lightning in the area. That's curious. I think it's a bug. Okay, where am I with this damn thing? Okay, that's what I want. So let me grab onto you. Yep. Whoopsie. See, there's a lot, there's a big learning curve in all of this, so. It's not too substantial. I mean, it takes a while, but if you have someone that can help you out, yeah, and he, and Emmett's it's a lot easier. Exactly, and Emmett, Emmett's, Emmett's, uh. I'm still learning, but. Are you going to be 14 coming up? Yeah. 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 Uh oh, am I on the wrong damn train? Probably. I believe you are. Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Oh, don't bell me. Who's ringing? Is that the switcher or the? You might be on multiple. You can't be on multiple trains. I don't know what's up. No, it's him. I think. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, I just shut it off. You didn't relinquish it. Uh huh. Because I don't want that. Um, actually, I can. I can. Might as well go grab it.
since I have control of it, I might as well grab it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there's and there's and there's people to help you. I had I had people that had to help me at one time. I had I had a train going down Mojave out of control because I didn't know you know I'm not used to the brake. This isn't like other other uh, quote unquote train games. The brakes take a bit. It's a very realistic simulator. It's not perfect, but it's probably it's I I call it the best train simulator on the planet. Is that a Florida East Coast unit in there? I think it is. I don't know what he's doing in there. Is it? Oh, he came. He must have came from. Uh, he must have came from uh, the FEC yard. Yeah. Beats you guys even do anything with the FEC yard? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I didn't even know. I didn't I, even... There, there is some trains um, that um, in the uh, in the bowl sheets that go there, so that will be. Uh, yeah, so I. Could, uh... I don't even want to deal with that right now. It ain't much. I don't want to deal with it right now. The yard only does so much. I mean, yeah. nah. I mean, I know I can spawn stuff from it and all that other crap, but come on, grab onto this. See, if you've seen other train games, that would have been pew, pew. But it took a while for everything to rev up and just like any other me mechanical thing would do. Um, okay, what is my... Is that my rest of my stuff right there? Okay, there's my front end. Alright. Florida Central stuff? Eh? Hey? This is yeah. Florida Central stuff? Well, I have it. That goes to Jacksonville. It's Q455. I was thinking of AIing this train into Jacksonville, because you can. But I'll leave it for somebody. Ah, crap. Didn't know you can AI it into Jacksonville. Well, oh, you yeah, can because he goes in the sea. Yeah. He goes in the sea, so. That's nice. Oh, there you go. Well, if you buy Run Eight, then you got to buy to do get to get Rice Yard. There's some, there's some, uh, there's a lot of conflict out there because I hear it's merged, but I hear some people only have Run Eight or only have uh, A Line. Have you heard about that, Quincy? Some people will only buy a uh, uh, or have bought A Line, and they don't have uh, Waycross. But then others say it's merged. I never thought it was merged. I didn't think it was either. I don't know. I, don't think, I think the update might have accidentally did something. I had talked to. I have to talk to Jason about that when I get a chance. I haven't talked to him for a while. It's been a couple weeks, I think. Well, that hump train's done. I don't think I want to bother with the hump anymore. There you go. Oh, they're both standalones. Okay, I thought they were. I thought they were. Um, I thought they we did what the Mojave and Needles did. That's what I was under the impression. Cause somebody I heard got all the files from one to the other and all they did was an update or something? I thought you said that, but I don't know. Somebody said that. Obviously you already had the two, but somebody else said that. And they were surprised.
As if the update kind of was an oopsie, maybe? I don't know. Can you do vice versa? Okay. Yeah, you can use the merge. That's weird. Oh yeah, you can use the merge. Of course. Yeah. What are we doing right now? But... Yeah. right beside it, if I recall. Yeah, after we get this built, they'll all post on the uh, Discord, and then this will be available. Oh yeah, you can run them as standalones all that. I, I, I just heard something about, I thought I heard that they, they accidentally merged the two routes, like, as in Mojave and Needles. Is, it, Mojave and Needles used to be separate. So, something happened between these two. That they were somehow, an update brought them all together or something like that. Because somebody only had a line or something, and they did the update, and they were able to get way across. So maybe I misunderstood it. I don't know. This will be about a 10,000 footer. That's why I got it on the other track. <coughs> Just had supper. Finished that about 10 minutes ago. Yeah, but somebody only had a line. They didn't have way cross, though. Because I heard somebody only has a line. I don't know. I confused. I bought Waycross and got A-Line 2. Huh! But I wonder if there's some people that still have A-Line before it got merged. So they have to buy Waycross now. <laughs> Poor buggers. I had to buy both of them, but I'm not complaining. Because somebody else was telling me that they can't get into Waycross. Because they have A-Line, but they don't have Waycross. Somebody told me that last night, I think. Yeah. Ditto. 
So we had to buy it separately. Oh well, I let them figure it out. I got two. I've had two since version one as well. Yep. Now we're seeing parts of the Fitzgerald, which I will buy, <laughs> obviously. It'd be interesting, some of the HPT values on some of these trains, they, they got to adjust some of them, I would think. Because they got to get over the uh, those mountains. It's different being on the coast. I was wondering who the hell had the bell going I again. If they like add power in Fitzgerald or something. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think they would, like if it's a train from Waycross specifically or something like that. But, yeah. I don't know how it would work. I'm going to cheat. I don't think it's too drastic of a change, so I'd imagine they just have the HPT set from the beginning. But Can I clear the lunar? <clears throat> So, let's see, where are you here? Yeah, you, all you gotta do is go to it and just, just hit the right mouse button once. That's all I did. You should be able to do that. Oh, the change is around. I'm not worried about it. I'll change with whatever changes. There you go. Now you got your light. It wouldn't let you do it, huh? Uh-oh. That's interesting. Hold on. That's interesting, yeah. I'm going to say goodbye to you guys for one second here. Uh, no, wrong button. Hmm. Train crew, dispatcher mode, anarchy. Allow remembering... Disable auto ABS. I've always had that off. That's weird because a right mouse button should have allowed you to do that. As far as I know. Anyways. I'll turn this back on. Yeah, no problem. I'm surprised you couldn't do it. As far as I know, everybody else has uh, dispatch access. You just have to write mouse button on the uh, the lunar and boom. I'm surprised. Wait, it just wouldn't change color? Or did it give you an error? Let's say you didn't have access or something? I'll have to look into that. If it is, I, I, I gotta know what feature it is. But, uh, just want to make sure I was on the right screen. It let me put it to Lunar, then wouldn't let me change it back. Hmm, I wonder if that's a bug. Hmm. That is weird. I'll have to get somebody else to try that later. <coughs>
It said Otto was on duty and wouldn't let me clear the lunar. What? I've never seen that message. See, if I if I go like this, watch. If I try to clear like left mouse button, it says auto is on duty, cannot set signal. But if I go like this, I can get the lunar. I can turn it on and off. Well, see now it's running time, but that's weird. I, I if that's the case, I gotta re we gotta report that. That's a that's a bug. So yeah, I do get that error message. But even I will get that message if Otto is on duty. But I wonder if that's a client side uh, bug. There was one that uh, there was one option about uh, allowing users to turn off auto, which I think was that F one screen. Yeah, go ahead. You can do that. Uh, where I'm gonna be coming out here. Oof. That's not good. Or if I should run through. I could, in theory, run through the local yard. Like running around. <laughs> Give myself more of a length. I don't know. Either that or I'll feed it up to the next crossover. Ah, shit. I want to get the counter going here. Okay, I got Yukon. Yukon's lit. I just did that. Orlando by the oh Orlando by the passenger station. Hang on, because uh, Yukon was also lit for some reason. Yeah, he's got an issue. So you can't you can't do that, huh? Okay. I'll have to try somebody another client later and see if it if it does anything different. Yeah, the purple, the color is whatever color you have for the messages, at least it is for me. Mine are red. Guess we're just going to be walking around the block, huh? Yeah, I guess so. All right.
yours are red and two other than that message. <clears throat> I don't know why it would be doing that. It's just weird. I'd be going slower than that. Hmm, nah, I doubt that. Anybody want this train to Jacksonville? Of course, it's going to Taft, but. Has to stop in Jacksonville, though, right? Has to stop in Jacksonville. There's a small head end set off, and then uh, it's got work at Rand's, and then uh, it, it terminates in. Taft. Oh, yes, it's the, just the supply train. Yes, yeah. Does it have uh, work at Rand's and Pecan, or just Rand's? Pecan's on 457. Jacksonville Pecan 457. This one has Jacksonville uh, Rands. Hmm? Land, or Jacksonville Rands and Tap. Yeah. Yeah, and Rands Rands is a small one, so is Jacksonville. They're just small to, uh it's it's mainly a Taft uh, train. And the other one, the Pecan, probably has a larger truck than Jacksonville, I'd imagine. Uh yeah, a large uh, half of it goes to Pecan, half of it goes to Jacksonville. Yeah. Whoops, I'm already way past. switch. I thought the water was moving for a second, it's just other... <laughs> That's weird. Freaked me out for a second, I'm like, what the hell that happened? Train's gonna have to go first because it's gonna be blocking too much, I think. F 
front half's 42. Probably the uh, the back half's over 52, 53, 55. Uh, more than that, it's going to be. <clears throat> Woo! I haven't seen that message. TMU, train too long for available track, extra cars ignored. At White House. Well, ain't that interesting. I thought White House had plenty of room. I thought so, too. I thought it was nice and long. That must have been a pretty big train. Yeah. Where the hell's that train going, anyways? Oh, he's going down that way. Yeah, I think the uh, the humps and or the receiving's in pretty good place. Anyways, Q four ten, Q six oh nine's ready. So that's when you know when trains are ready to go. Actually, uh, Q60, what the hell? I, I see uh, 682, 410, 609. Of course, my train's not going to show up, but it's got to go. Might AI the train. Just to get it into Jacksonville. The only problem is, does it end at a switch or does it end at that stupid signal? Because if it ends at the signal, I'm screwed. I'll have to take a look when I uh, connect this up. Because I've never done that yet. Oh, I know why you can't do it. Never mind, I can't do it. The reason why you can't do it, I mean, theory you in theory you can as long as you don't have a um, relinquish when stopped button on it. Which you don't really need. Because back in, the, back in uh, version 2, uh, the AI would complain about... Uh, it would constantly chirp and complain about... Uh, not having uh, a switch or a signal for it or something. Usually the switch, I should say. So if it ran, if it ran into a switch where it couldn't go anywhere, then it would uh, it would just chirp. But it really doesn't do that anymore. for the Canadian Football League. Emmett. Hey, Emmett. Mm -hmm. Hey. Cars for the Canadian Football League. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Look at all the work. It's got a compressor. Dynamic, dynamic brakes. That's a different one. One says none. It's interesting. I haven't seen dynamic brakes yet. No, I haven't seen that one either. I mean, it's just random shit. Well, dynamic brakes means it still should be able to run, right? Maybe. 
That's a, that's an you interesting. You might have to run it without the dynamics. Well, yeah, of course. You can do that. Oh yeah, you can just keep to the uh, independence of the autos, but it'd be fun. Just put it on a DPU. Oh boy, I'm jumping. Well, let's see where we're at. Left the friggin' switchers there. Yeah, that was me. Um, I got a little bit of room to go back. Oh yeah, I'll be fine. Why are you going forward? I know I didn't put the brakes on, but come on. A fun train to run. If I could just get inside there. I already got three engine lengths. It's not that bad, but... Mm, it's going to be tight. I mean, the worst, the worst case is I can get the, I can get the, uh, the trim uh, out there. The, yeah, the problem is he's not going to be able to fill those tracks. Uh, you gonna stop or what? Jesus Christ! <laughs> stop! It stopped. It obeyed what you said. It didn't. It doesn't detect it when it ran into it, but I right, see, see this here. Where am I? I'll piss off. All right, fine. Ringing your bell. It means I'm going to lose this lead, but yeah, he's a little close. It's okay. Um, yeah. This is the problem when those trains get too long. And I probably could have split it up a little bit 
precise, more precisely when I, when I think about it, but I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to put the same train on, uh, or the same local on two trains. Okay, let me relinquish that. Yeah, sucks, but I'm going to have to They won't even have access to the local yard. Yeah, Florida. Well, yeah, I guess Florida Central. I don't know for sure. NS is another one in Jacksonville. Um, we don't really, we don't simulate it, but. One point four HPT, ten thousand three hundred eighty feet. Um, oh, I never uh, auto started all of them. That was dumb. <laughs> I didn't even have the DPUs going. <laughs> Don't give me a DPU error, you bugger. Wouldn't that, be, wouldn't that be hilarious of uh, one of my DPUs after all that? I go to auto start it and uh, I get a DPU error. So yeah, 10,000 is the absolute limit. But it is what it is. What did I, what did I have him set up for? Um, let me get rid of this. Uh... See, Q457, I had at 9689, him at 9931, not counting the engines. And I split it up that way. So he's going to have the pecan, but he's going to have the majority of the rest of, uh, like, he's got, he only gets a small amount for Jacksonville Y124. Okay, so I'm just going to throw a note in there. Relinquish that. What track is this on? T20. Um, yeah, see, it's down to 22 degrees, buddy. Hey, Emmett. Mm -hmm. Down to 22 degrees. Nice. Uh, I'm not answering that right now. Way across.
Okay, guys. I'm gonna head out, go for a walk, and take a break. I'll be on later tonight. I don't know what time, but Emmett gets sick of this unless he wants to run Q455. We'll see about that. Someone oh. might take it. What time we're out? I don't know. Okay. Well, it's available. It's here if somebody wants it. Um, I'm gonna plop over here so it's not too loud for your mom. All right. Holy crap! Look at this yard. Isn't that crazy? That's yeah, nice looking. I like it. <laughs> nice and full. <laughs> I think you found your next thumbnail. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. That is that is impressive. Wow. I mean, don't get me wrong, the bull. Yeah, I mean, the bull's a bull, so. But that's uh, that is impressive. I think we're okay there. We shouldn't hear the trains honking too much. No, uh, they don't really honk much around the way across. No. As long as you're out of the radius of their uh, engine. Well, I'm up in the air. Are, so. Yeah, most of the work's being down at uh, honking is down the other end. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. That's it for now. I'm taking off. We'll be back later on. Or I'll be back. Or somebody will be back. We'll see. We'll see. Well, I'll be back later tonight, so with or without you so mm. okay that's it for now guys holy crap how many hours was this one three hours 47 was on six hours yesterday Lots insane hours. insane anyways guys that's all for now have a good one we'll talk to you later see ya bye